Hallmark family having appeared in over 15 of our original movies between them. Together, they star in the upcoming <laughs> film, Love on the Menu. Please welcome back our friends, Autumn Reeser, Kevin Smith. Yay! Welcome, guys. Yay! 15 between the two of you guys. I've only done one myself. Well, okay, that's right. <laughs> between the two of us, how many have we done? We've done 15 between the two of us, too. Because I've done zero. There you go. Man. Listen, uh, looking forward to this film. I really am for a lot of different reasons, and one of the reasons is uh, why it's probably quite special to you, Kevin, the right. fact that you wrote this film. I did. Yeah. Shocking. Awesome. Uh, no, it was really fun. I got very fortunate. I was, I was actually doing a Hallmark movie, so that was the one that I had done before. And uh, one of the execs came to set to say hi, and uh, she asked me what I wanted to do next. And I kind of balked a little bit, and I was like, well, if you're serious. Because I was playing a chef in that show, but they really kind of didn't do a lot of chefing. I, not a lot of cooking. Well, they're not used to actors actually <laughs> being no. a horrible chef like yourself. Well, I'm like, not, but I Well, but very I, close. I think I am sometimes. Well, look, that pasta certainly tasted like cordon bleu. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Kidding. You're welcome. I tried. <laughs> but uh, so I asked if, if they would be willing to take a look at something, if I wrote something that was more involved as a chef, and uh, she said yes. And so I wrote it as a TV series, because all actors want a series. A movie's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I sent that in and she kind of laughed and said, well, you know, probably a movie at best. Okay. But, uh, yeah, thanks. We'll think about it. And then I just sort of let it go. I didn't want to be pushy. And then about seven or eight months later, Here I got a are. phone call and she said, uh, good things come to those who wait. It's a good idea. Right. Yeah. yeah well and the done. rest is food history. history. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Culinary history, as they say. As they say. So, Kevin, you play Hank. Mm -hmm. You are a chef and the owner of a struggling restaurant. Mm -hmm. Autumn, you play Maggie. And you um, are... A corporate executive with an agenda. You have a plan, my friend. He might be like the artistic chef who's all about, but you come into town and come into his life, and you're going to get stuff done. Tell us yeah, about Maggie. I, I work at a, at a frozen food company. My name used to be Marcia. It, it was. It was Marcia. But no one could ever say it. They just said Marcia. Everybody said Marcia. <laughs> so they changed your character's name to Maggie? How I, funny. I think I requested that it be Oh, did you? Maggie I'm not surprised. I was like, it's, it's, it's close enough You got some Marcia. pull. That's impressive. <laughs> I like that. But I love the name Maggie. So yeah, do I. Too. It's really yeah. cute. So yeah. Maggie works at a frozen food company, um, but she's a big fan of the restaurant that Hank owns, and she comes up with this plan to basically develop a line of gourmet foods, frozen foods, and work together with Hank um, to create a delicious line of food, mm -hmm. pastas and all of that. Well, that's her idea, but yeah, we'll yeah. have to see. Yeah. In fact, we've got a clip <laughs> from the movie. It's when uh, Maggie first meets Hank in, uh, in the restaurant, in the kitchen, and judging by her demeanor, I think maybe the thing that she's most interested in on the menu might be Hank himself. <laughs> Take a look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. Please do. Have you ever considered doing a line of frozen foods? Frozen food? No, never. We don't even have a freezer here. It would make your food accessible to so many more people. Excuse me, I, I, I didn't order this. I am so sorry, sir. I'll have somebody come right away, okay? Could you please? Absolutely. Yeah, miss, miss. Miss. Yes. Oh, oh. oh. I'm, oh I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's um, my fault. It's here, all. Here, let me just. Yep, that's I'm, okay. It's okay. I'm here. so it's sorry. It's okay. So now. sorry, it's okay. Mr. Daniels. Uh, no, it's okay. It's actually just Hank. <laughs> I'm just Maggie. I mean, I'm Maggie. Not just now. Always Maggie. Right. <laughs> I wrote that line. <laughs> 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 You gotta tell everybody that. I, that line, it was good. I'm like, that I like, wrote that line. Oh, was that like for you to say? I mean, you played it beautifully, you wrote it beautifully. I mean, I mean to watch that kind of come to life, I, I wouldn't know because well, I'm not a writer. She, she, oh, please. She did such a great job. No. She sold it. But can yeah. I say, like, if you ever spill food on somebody in real life, like, whoever jumps in and is like, let me touch your rippling muscles while I like, <laughs> help you clean no, it that's up. I've done that. Actually of course, do you, we done know that. you've done that. <laughs> well, oh my gosh, I spilled a whole pitcher of beer one time when I was a waitress, and I was so, I'm, ah! And the, the person who was with it was like, excuse me, ma'am, I but you, you get so nervous. Yeah. You know, that was oh totally real. Gosh. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> in the clip, we talk, obviously, you're talking about the, the frozen food uh, potential. Uh, and then, you know, before frozen food sort of became gourmet, we can all relate to growing up, right, and having our, our frozen classics that we all enjoyed, thinking back. What comes up for you? What, what uh, frozen goodies do you remember? Um, when I was at my grandparents' house, we would go to visit my grandparents once a year. They lived in Northern California, and um, we would get these treats. They were like frozen little animal popsicles with gumballs for the eyes. I remember those. Uh, yeah. Like that? Yeah, yeah. Like oh. those guys. <laughs> Look at how good our yes, team is. We're impressed. Exactly, and impressive. we would only ever get them in the summer at our grandparents' house, so I will always remember that. Oh, those were fun. What about you, Kevin? 
Well, I didn't do a lot of frozen food, but one thing I did do, as I got a bit older and I moved to uh, this other city where my grandfather was living and he was by himself, somebody needed to help take care of him. So every night we would watch hockey games and we, the two of us would pull up in front of the TV and we would have these Hungry oh. Man Salisbury <laughs> steak things where everything's segregated. You oh got that one goodness. apple disaster. Oh, that, yeah, wow. that's exactly it. That the weird the mashed potatoes, thing the ever. funny wow. thing with the pineapple. And the, and oh maybe it's a Canadian gosh. thing because I grew up eating You did, did you? Yeah, I think so. On oh occasion, gosh. it happens. Oh, you have it? They don't taste good. Besides um, your affinity for nostalgic frozen foods, I know the two of you also bonded a lot over the fact that you both have two young sons. Mm -hmm. We do. Yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, it's nonstop. Yeah. And I know that you love to see your two boys, Autumn. We've talked about this before, interact with your parents now. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's really neat. I have all, the, all of these memories of hanging out with my grandparents, and my boys are going to have all those memories of hanging out with my parents, their grandparents. Aww. And um, they're just, my parents are amazing grandparents. They really are. They're they're always creating new things for them, and um, like for Christmas. Okay, so my boys, um, I, my parents asked what they needed, and I was like, they need piggy banks. They're at that age; they need little piggy banks to keep all the coins and stuff that they find. So my parents found these amazing treasure boxes, like pirate treasure boxes, and instead of just giving those to them for Christmas, they created an entire treasure hunt through their house. Wow! Like with with clues, and then Man. they buried them in their backyard. Oh my under, goodness. Under chalk X's. Like they literally buried them in the backyard. That's and like incredible. had little shovels for the boys to like dig them up. But your dad's been doing that for years. He did that yeah. sort of thing for you when you were little too. Yeah, we used to do scavenger hunts, and um, <laughs> there's a picture. What's this here? That yeah. is a Barbie um, sky tram. <laughs> <laughs> I think we wanted to transport the Barbies up and down the stairs, and so it's like, I think it's a piece of PVC piping on a string. But we made it happen. Oh. Into look it. how happy! We thought it was like oh, the most magical oh, thing ever. It's hilarious it to look at now, but like at the time, we were like, "This is awesome. Right. This is luxury travel." <laughs> Kevin, we know that your relationship with your two boys uh, is always full of surprises, mm -hmm. and we were talking about this a little bit before too. Uh, over the holidays, you surprised them with a trip to New York, they did. which sounded fantastic. But it they. Was. Also surprise you uh, on occasion, and, and including a, a thank you letter that one of your sons wrote you. Yeah, after we got back from New York, I told the kids we're broke and we have to sell everything <laughs> we own to pay for that vacation. Uh, my one son came home from school and, and and he wrote me a thank you note, and he didn't tell anybody, and he just stuck it on the fridge, and days went by. He forgot about it because he's just a kid, and I'm like, what is this on the fridge? I finally I opened it and it said. To dad, you're the greatest dad. Thank you so much for everything and for being such a great cook, all the great meals, except <laughs> my kids always point out my failures. So this one time I made uh, chocolate mousse with buttermilk. Oh, wow. It's like vinegar and chocolate. Yeah. It is the worst combination. That's interesting. And my kids always point that out, even in the thank you notes. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. You're the best, except for that <laughs> chocolate mousse. Well, they'll keep you honest. They keep you honest. They yeah. keep you humble. Yeah. yeah. Totally. But I'll tell you what, we're going to always remember the meal you made for us today earlier. Oh, my I gosh. Mean, so Unforgettable. Fantastic.